Yo, what's going on guys? What I got for you today is going to be a Buzzwell Garbler list. Now, I was actually going to start trying to build my own and see what I can get. And then I saw this one, and I was like, you know what? This looks a lot better than anything I could probably come up with. So I'm just going to copy and paste this list. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if I can't figure out something to do about getting the list, it might be down in the description below, or you might have saw it at the start of the video. I don't know yet. We'll just have to see. But we're going to go ahead and get into it, guys, here, taking a look at the main attacker, which is going to be, of course, for Buzzwell GX. And I do apologize if there is a glare, guys. I have, like, two different things of light going. But Buzzwell GX uh, has Jet Punch for 30, and then 30 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Now, this is actually a pretty good attack because this can just kind of... Uh, you know soften up stuff and on top of that there's stuff like strong energy there is fighting fury belt uh, you know choice band etc all kinds of stuff you can throw onto buzzle to make it do a little more damage and so you can pretty much just kind of choose what pokemon you want to target down and you know kind of soften up so that way you can get ready for knuckle impact or absorption gx we're going to take a look at knuckle impact first for three fighting energy it does 160 and this pokemon can attack during your next turn so yes, obviously there's ways to get around this, such as Guzma bringing up something that has like a float stone, which we'll see here in a little bit, or just another attacker that's ready to go. Uh, but that 160 may not seem like it's going to be able to take down like some Pokemon, of course, because you know 200 plus HP is so big right now. But that's where Jet Punch comes in. On top of that, like I said, guys, why is there a big loud truck outside? Are you serious? All right, hopefully you can't hear that. Jesus. Anywho, so yeah, Knuckle Impact 160. Uh, jet Punch and the fact that, like I said, Choice Spin, uh, Fighting Fairy Belt, Strong Energy, etc. You can do a little more damage. And then Absorption GX, uh, 40 for the amount of each of your remaining prize cards. So 40 times. So if you have 6, I believe that is 240. So I think that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 20. Yep. So if you have all 6 of your prize cards left, uh, you're going to pretty much be one shot in anything. Which is really nice because you can do Absorption GX and then next turn you'll have your Knuckle Impact ready. But yeah, Buzzwell is a very strong attacker. I remember when uh, this card first got leaked uh, and even like the early days of its release, I remember people were saying that because of uh, Garbodor it would never be big. And I always had it in the back of my head. I was like, this card's going to be good. There's no way it's not going to be good. And boom, here we go. Zorark has taken over the format, which means Buzzwell and anything fighting pretty much has risen in popularity. And so that's just awesome, Buzzwell. Uh, one of my favorite cards uh, because it reminds me of Landris EX, which, uh, if you guys don't know, is one of my favorite cards of all time. And Buzzwell is slowly rising up there to being one of the same. I just like the card. All right, next up we're going to take a look at its disruptive partner for the deck, which is going to be a 2-2 Garbodor with Garbotoxin. So while you're sitting there just kind of, you know, hitting stuff, you know, softening stuff, uh, you know, and like one-shotting and everything, uh, we also have Garbodor here, which is going to be shutting off abilities such as trade. It's going to be shutting off things like uh, Tapalele's Wonder Tag. It's going to be shutting off everything except for Garbotoxin, so that's really going to be limiting your opponent as far as what they can do. And so we run a 2-2 line in here. Uh, and I just picked these trubbishes because they're shiny and pretty. <laughs> and next up we have a 2-2 Carbink, which is going to be two regular. And I actually want to note, I do have the wrong Carbink. I forgot to mention that before we started the video. I do have the wrong Carbink. I could not find any of the other one. I know I have a few, I think. I know I at least have one, and I could not find it for the life of me. I looked everywhere, so I just said to hell with it, and I just grabbed this one. And next time around, my friends, I'm going to see if they have some. But, um... Yeah, uh, the other card bank, which is like the shiny one, the one that has the ability to where uh, your basic energy can't be removed. Uh, that's the one I've been seeing a lot of people play. So that's probably the one you want to try to go after. But 2-2 uh, card bank, uh, pretty much card bank break is in here. So that way you could kind of get a buzzwell ready because it's a tag does allow you to attach a couple uh, fighting energy from your discard pile to one of your fighting Pokemon. So uh, let's say you like lose a buzzwell or something, you're able to use Diamond Gift for 20 and then throw a couple energy down and boom, you got a buzzle ready to go, ready to attack, which is very nice. Also something I forgot to note on uh, Buzzwell here. Uh, as a Zorak player, I uh, experienced this a lot. <laughs> uh, so uh, the cool thing about Buzzwell, uh, since Zorak is so big, is one, of course, weakness comes in the, you know, comes in play. Uh, on top of that, you don't need anything at all, just a fighting energy and you can knock out a Zora, which is, it's, it's so depressing. But uh, yeah, you don't need a strong energy, you don't need anything, you just need a fighting energy period and you can knock out a Zora. Uh, so that could be really big early game. And then of course you can hit one for 30. And if they start dead drawing, which I've done before, uh, they can just start taking prizes like crazy. So yeah, 
Uh, that's something I forgot to note on uh, Buzzwell. So yeah, my apologies. Uh, next up, we have two Tapu Lele. Uh, of course, Wonder Tag and Energy Drive. Wonder Tag allows you to just grab a supporter, and then on top of that, Energy Drive is just a pretty solid attack in itself. And then to finalize Pokemon, uh, we have one Zygarde EX. Uh, this is pretty much in here just because, like Buzzwell, it's a uh, fighting Pokemon. It just does a, it does an okay amount of damage. It's nothing crazy, but uh, it just takes a low energy cost and is fighting. Uh, and on top of that, the cool thing is it's not weak to Psychic, which is something big. But uh, it's been a while since I've read Zygarde on a video, so I'll go ahead and read it again. Uh, Lance Pulse for 20, and if there is a state of a card in play, this attack does 20 more damage. Cell Storm for 60, and you heal 30 from this Pokemon. And then Lance Wrath just does 100. It has 190 HP, just like Buzzwool. So we'll just run one of those, just you know, just in case. I, it's a pretty solid card, I mean, in the right situations and right matchups, but... Uh, it gets completely obliterated by Gully Sapod, uh, Leafeon, anything grass. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to do it for the Pokemon. Uh, next up, we're going to take a look at the supporters. Uh, starting off with four Sigamore. Uh, the thing about this deck is it doesn't run Bridget. Because uh, you don't necessarily need Bridget. You don't need those big, gigantic benches. Uh, you don't need to get them like that. You just need to get a couple Pokemon down. And the deck does pretty much pretty much just does what it's supposed to. Uh, I got four Sigamore just to make it like super consistent. Uh, same with three Cynthia. Then we have two in, and then we have four Guzma. Uh, this is in here just because of the fact that when you do Knuckle Impact, you can't attack again. And so pretty much you're just kind of able to, uh, you know, float stuff, something on your bench, and then just keep, you know, using Guzma and just keep bringing stuff up. On top of that, it's just really cool to bring up stuff, maybe uh, something you've been softening up, maybe something you've been targeting down. Uh, and of course, you know, like the high retreat cost, this deck has Guzma can come in handy and just help you out. But yeah, four Guzma is actually like pretty nice. I can definitely see why it's in here. Alrighty, for the trainers and such, guys, we got four Ultra Ball just to search out your Pokemon along with two Nest Ball. Nest Ball was actually the surprising card, but after playing around with this a little bit, I can see why. Uh, just allows you to grab like a Buzzwole out of your deck, or you can grab a Trubbish. Really any of your basics, don't grab Tapu Lele, but really any of your basics that you need, it can just grab it, and it's just like a cheap search card, and your bitches are never going to be like, like, just absolutely wild and crazy, like, you're not going to have those big, gigantic bitches like that. Uh, yeah, you'll probably have a full bench, but it's like, you, you can usually, like, grab one Pokemon, play it down for that turn, or two, or, or something like that, and you'd be good, whereas Dex, you need, like, you know, like, like, Zorark Dex, for instance, you need, like, your three Zoroarks out, and you need, like, your bench to be full constantly. This deck is just, like, just Nest Ball's good, because it could just grab a Buzzwell or a Trubbish, and can you fuck off with the song? Jesus! Alright, so, next up, we have four Max Elixir. This is gonna help speed the deck up quite a bit, uh, because, of course, whenever you have a Buzzwell active and a Buzzwell on bench, I'm going to show the non-full art some love this video, too. <laughs> uh, pretty much Max Elixir, Max, Max Elixir, Jesus, can allow you to just start attaching energies to another uh, Buzzwall on your bench, so that way whenever your active one does go down, uh, you'll have one ready to go. Or if you just want to kind of start one with a Jet Punch, and then bring up one that just can start doing Knuckle Impact, like, right off the bat, that's definitely an option, too. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have four float stones. Kind of getting back to what I was talking about, this can also help with Garbodor, uh, but also like with the four Guzman combination, it allow you to basically just be able to uh, bring up something that has a float stone after you Guzma, or you can float stone to your Buzzwall, just whatever you want to do, and then just you know just kind of proceed from there. But uh, the four float stones are like, really nice. Uh, gives you a lot of flexibility for your turns. And then we have. Uh, two, three fighting fairy belt. That was a two, three fighting fairy belt. It was behind a parallel city. Uh, three fighting fairy belt. Just uh, let your buzzwall hit anything a little harder for ten more damage. It makes it a little bit more of a tank, and so that's pretty nice. And then to finalize it, we have two parallel city. Now it's not really a secret what this deck is trying to do. Uh, this deck is really trying to just give a big, fat, gigantic, long middle finger to <laughs> to Zorark. Uh, Parallel City, this is really nice. Uh, on top of that, just like the limiting any deck to three can really hurt. But um, the thing about this is you can just hit a Zorark deck and just limit it to three. And if they can't pull out the Field Blower, 
or if they maybe used the fill blower like like if they only run like one fill blower and they already used it they're pretty much locked and then if they use fill blow or two fill blower and they've already used one and they use one again well you got another parallel setting to go which is really going to be limiting their damage output which is pretty nice man yeah, parallel city could definitely screw up those decks and then on top of that like if you face any deck and they have like a full bench and you know they got crap on there that's not tapping lately and everything you know it's, they have to make that decision like you know like, what what's what do i feel like is the best thing to discard which is pretty awesome and to finalize the deck guys we have four strong energy and we have one two three four five six seven eight nine fighting energy so yeah that is going to do it guys like i said this is not my list but this looks better than anything i could have came up with so uh i figured i was just like you know what screw it i'm going to pick up this deck build it and that way you guys have a better list so if you do enjoy the video guys make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed and as far as like strategy goes for this deck really it, it's just a typical buzzwall i mean you just you bring up buzzwall use jet punch or knuckle impact and just start applying pressure to your opponent pretty much right out the gate uh, this deck has a very, very good matchup against Zorg decks, uh, and that's really it. So, I mean, like, like if you guys know how uh, Buzzwell works, uh, you pretty much know how to play this deck already. And uh, I've been messing around with this list for a little bit, and it's actually pretty solid. It's pretty consistent. Uh, I don't really dead draw too much with it. But, yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, you know what to do. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.